Hey guys, Ashen1 here, and welcome to this Demon Souls video on level skipping. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Okay, let's roll. So, before we begin, you know I'm not one for glitches, hacks, and cheats, but I'm appreciative of the fact that some of you like these things, especially if you're speedrunning, for example, or you've just played through the game a hundred times like I have. But I still don't want to spoil things too much for new players, so I will split the level skips up into the intended skips and the ones that are more blatantly glitches. Let's start then with the more intended fear skips first. In World 1-3, we have the Fence Vault. From the Inner Ward Archstone, you are going to fight your way through a gauntlet of enemies and some are pretty tough. And in true Souls-like fashion, the game is going to try and kill you right at the very end by aggroing more enemies and putting you in a tight spot. But we can skip some of this area. Just here, you can vault over the fence, and as you come down, you can vault over this fence, and boom, here you are right behind the fat official, right next to the lever for the shortcut. So just ignore him, run, grab the lever, and you have the shortcut open. In World 2-1, we have the Lava Skip. If you picked up the Flame Resistance Ring from World 1, and you have the spell Water Veil, which you can purchase from the vendor in the Nexus, it is actually possible to roll through the Lava Pit here without having to run the whole level of World 2-1. Simply cast Water Veil, make sure you have the Flame Resistant Ring equipped, and roll as quickly as you can from one set of stairs to the next. Now you can head straight to the Armoured Spider. World 2-2, Ledge Dropping. Now this isn't strictly anything new, and it's not much of a level skip, but there are two paths you can take in World 2-2 to get to the Flame Lurker boss. One is long and treacherous, but full of spoils and loot. The other is fast and easy, and can be done in about 60 seconds. From the Armoured Spider Archstone, simply turn right and sprint while zigzagging through the enemies in the tunnel. Then come to the right here and just follow the way that I drop down in this example. You will get down to the Flame Lurker boss in seconds. In World 3-1 then, we have the Ballista Rolling. <laughs> I'm going to apologise for this one in advance guys, because this one requires a bit of skill. The Ballista Bridge in the Prison of Hope can be crossed without having to go around the houses and passing through the corridors of Mind Flayers to sneak up behind it to deactivate it. This is all about timing your rolls. The Ballista will fire two volleys of arrows and then wait two seconds before firing again. So watch for the two volleys, count one, two, and then hit roll to avoid the first volley, and just as you are finding your feet, hit roll again to avoid the second. Then count one, two, and do the same. You only really need to successfully roll through two sets of volleys to do this, and you will get a trophy for doing it the first time. World 4-1, the wall skip. This is an easy one which I'm sure you all know about. Near the start, run along this wall. When you get to the top of these stairs, just angle your character like this, run to the edge and roll over the gap and the wall. This will drop you down at the Regenerator's Ring and you can run straight to the boss in seconds. Make sure you're rolling fast to do this. World 5-2, the Swamp Run. At the start of World 5-2, we want to come straight down into the swamp and stay in the swamp for the duration of the run. If you have the Sodden Ring, this will be much faster. Either way, we want the Thief Ring equipped and we'll start by running to the left of the main path You'll notice the poison is very slow and we don't have to worry about it too much. Just keep heals and lotuses handy. As you can see, we can get to the fog gate and sneak behind the giant depraved thanks to the thief ring. Then we roll off the path immediately again and run directly through the swamp past Selene Binland. Here we want to come up and start using the ground to run a little faster and you can heal up as well if you need to. Once we get here, just follow the green smoke and hug the right wall of the dirty village. We can sneak past the two giant depraved and come straight in. Again here, we will use the swamp to the right to skip the whole village and run to the end near the boss and the path to open the shortcut.
I would advise opening the shortcut so that you can come back to explore World 5.2 later at your leisure. Alrighty, okay, so that's all the intended skips, which are pretty much, you know, fair game. Let's have a look at some of these glitches then. World 2-1, the Armoured Spider Skip. Okay, this is a funky one back at World 2-1. So just clear out all the enemies in the starting area. Stand on the first brick here, and then roll off directly forward. If you get this right, you'll notice you are hovering above the banisters of the ramp. Now, you need to run parallel with the banister and try rolling over the cart here. This can be a bit fiddly, but once done, the hard part is out of the way. Simply follow the path I take, and once you get here, save and exit out of the game, then reload. But whilst reloading, hold up on the left analog stick. You should find yourself falling for a very long time. Just wait this out and eventually you will die. When you respawn, you will find yourself in a very rare place with a very rare sight behind the armoured spider boss. Now you can just hack away at him carefree to kill him. What a great skip. World 3-2, the meat skip. This one can take a while to get right and you will be convinced that it has been patched, but it hasn't. Come to this pillar early on in the level, then quit out. Before loading back in, come into the settings and switch to cinematic mode. When you load back in, hold up on the left stick and you will see your character walk up onto the pillar. Now the tricky part. Hold circle to start sprinting on the pillar and just tilt the left stick to the left as soon as you come off the pillar, start rolling towards the meat tentacle. Your left stick should be pushed towards the one o'clock position, forwards and just a bit to the right. When you find yourself on the next pillar, just start rolling frantically to the left and angle yourself over the meat tentacle. You should eventually, when you get it right, roll straight over and ta-da! You have just skipped the whole of World 3-2. Oh, and before you go to fight the boss, make sure to switch back to performance mode. And finally, World 5-1, the slope skip. There are plenty of ways to roll down to skip chunks of this level. Most are intended, but this one is a bit faster and a bit glitchier. So come to this point here at the start of the level and just angle yourself and roll off here against the wall opposite. And if you quit out at the right time, when you load back in, you will be all the way down the bottom not too far from the boss. Simply knock this bridge down to continue. And there we have it guys. So, some level skips. Some seem fair game, some seem pretty pretty hacky and glitchy. What do you think guys? And what level skips did I miss that you know of? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.